me and I am back. Um, I've actually deleted the last two videos I've made. I didn't like them, they were too rambly. <clears throat> and yeah, one was a craft with me, super long. I'm still gonna show you all the things I've been working on for the last two days, and I have a crazy story for you, which I'll tell you first. So I don't I don't watch like other I have not been watching, or I don't watch other people's, like, craft videos. I watch a ton of YouTube, but I usually watch, like, documentaries or true crime or put on, like, a random cartoon in the background, and while I'm doing something, I have it running. But I do a lot of Pinterest because to find images to print, and, well, basically, that's mostly it. Lately, I've been really looking for some uh, black and white images. <clears throat> so, but... Pinterest has YouTube videos linked and sometimes it just takes you to YouTube. So once you start, um, uh, once you have a few videos of a certain genre or whatever, then YouTube will start suggesting that. And YouTube suggested this one lady and I was like, you know, I'm just going to watch it. I usually don't watch just because I don't want to, um, like get an idea from someone and not say give them credit or just anything like that I don't like it when it's done to me so I don't want to do that to someone else so anyway <clears throat> it recommended this one lady Gail um, Agus Agus Nelly it's something Ellie and it starts with an A and her name is Gail and oh my gosh we are so similar <laughs> like I had talked about it in one video and then something else happened the next day and I was like this is crazy so um her first video that was recommended to me was um, she was covering an envelope, a junk mail envelope. And what was I doing at that exact time? I had gotten the mail, gotten the junk mail, and I was altering this envelope. She did hers totally different. But um, what I did is I like carefully opened the flap. It ripped a little bit but that's okay. Then I just put a scrap of paper here. Um, then I decided to cut it. I made two and I just used a sheet of copy paper to make it close. And I want there to be a window for something to slide in and out. And that's what, what the craft with me was. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyway, she did hers differently. She, you know, like you would regularly rip open an envelope and then she put like paper lined on each side and she adhered something down. But I was like, that is so crazy. <clears throat> so anyway, that was her newest video. And then um, it went down to the old ones. Guess what she's been doing? Going through her stash like of stuff and taking out things because she's going to do a giveaway. She's doing it like a giveaway because she's um, pulling out. She's got a huge stash. Um, she had a video on laces, on journal cards. I was, most of the time I wasn't like watching. I was like just listening. But anyway, so she's taking out things and she's going to do a giveaway. And like I said, I'm not doing a giveaway. I just have, I'm going through my stash and pulling out things to give to someone as a startup, whatever. I've got a bunch of stamped images, paper, tons of printed images, yada yada. So I, and I, I was like, that is so crazy. Then, okay, this was the next day. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. My memory is not very good right now. Um, <clears throat> she, oh, the, the next thing was she was going through a, it was like a, uh, shop my craft room something about looking like looking for stuff in her craft room to use and the first thing I, I i was like you know listening and it was cutting out these stamps stamped images and she said and this is just some gesso on the book page and i was like are you kidding me because <clears throat> the video before i think this is the yeah this is the video that i deleted I have had been practicing on dyeing stuff. This was done with cheap watercolors. 
and I was um, kind of seasoning my ink dauber, but I was practicing and seeing how well acrylic, I knew gesso would, but I wanted to see if acrylic paint would work as well until I get my gesso in, which my Joanne order is supposed to come today. So I wanted to be able to, like if I used a patterned paper or a book page or anything that was kind of busy, I could kind of white out an area that I could journal on because um, especially junk journals that I'm making for myself, I want to be able to do a lot of actual writing on them. And I was like, oh, God, that's so weird. Then <clears throat> the same video, she said, what was it? Oh, she was like, oh, and this is just the tab from a plastic bag box. I was like, are you kidding me? Because I had made this from a plastic bag box and I paused the video and went back and looked at what she was explaining and I couldn't see where she used the plastic bag box. It was a large tag, like really big, probably, you know, like this big and it had um, a pocket in it. it and I couldn't, and it was just a regular tag shape on the top. I couldn't see how she had used it, but she did use it in some way. And I was like, that's really strange too. And envelope thing, the envelope thing. I know I've already shared these and these are the ones I did a long time ago and I hand sewed them and I did a machine sewing down the middle for my current traveler's notebook. Well, I don't know if this was the same video or another. She had, I've seen tons of people use, an, use envelopes, like collage on them and stuff, but she had taken an envelope like and folded it like this. So she used the flap as a pocket and then this as a pocket. I don't know if she cut this open or not. And then on another one, she also had like, you know, traced this and offset it so there was there could be even another pocket here and i was like that's so crazy i have never seen anyone else you know alter or change envelopes like that and she said she got the idea from irene or irena and i know she has been i've i've heard her name from long ago she's been around forever um <clears throat> but maybe all of this is like really common and people are doing this now and i just don't no, <laughs> like I haven't watched all the junk journaling videos and, and stuff in years. I still have a playlist with some of the old videos on it, but yeah, anyway, <clears throat> so I had never seen anyone like alter envelopes like that. And also these I made forever ago and I had traced, um, another tag because I didn't know <laughs> how to make them. I don't even think I had a paper cutter at the time, but I had made a pocketed tag with a double edge. So weird. So I'm convinced that I am just completely out of the loop as to what people are doing now. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought it was crazy. Oh, it was so funny. I always like, if I will drop something or mess something up, I'll be like, oh, Haley, she does that to herself as well. She'll be like, oh, Gail. I thought that was funny. So yes. I subscribed to her because I was like, oh, we're so alike. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I just thought that was so funny. Like, all of kind of the recent things are that she was working on, I was working on. In both of us in different ways, but you know what I mean. Kind of similar. <clears throat> also, okay, so I showed you my, I had been working on inking and aging things. <laughs> And I wanted to print on book pages. Well, this <clears throat> I was stamping off when I was doing the craft with me, but obviously this isn't a book page, but I arranged it on in a document how I thought it would work. And then I went ahead and printed it on a computer page just to double check. And then I arranged my book pages on top of it after it had printed out. This one at the very bottom wasn't dark enough and I used that in my craft with me, but <clears throat> I had them like this. There is a perfume bottle at the bottom. There is the bee and the bird. 
a little mouse heart and the little girl. So I printed those off. What else did I do? I had cut out some book pages and some of that really nice watercolor paper. I actually had some scraps of it. It's actually a sketch, um, a uh, heavyweight vintage sketchbook. And some of these book pages are blank on the back. They were the, uh, like a new chapter sheet or the end of a chapter page. So those will be great. <clears throat> and then what I spent a lot of time doing, um, most of my scraps I keep with their collection, but at the beginning I had, you know, stuff from all different collections single sheets I had gotten and just stuff. So <clears throat> I had kept all my scraps in this green plasticky thing, which I showed you in my last video. Well, I went through all of it except for the title strips. And I used to keep the title strips of everything, not just like sh strips because they were cute. I just kept them for everything. And I don't know why. Like some of them are patterned, but some of them are not. So Anyway, but I went through everything else, and the size of some of the scraps I kept are insane. Like, let me show you. Like, what did I think I was going to do with that? I, I think what I did, I was like, if I can use one of my tiny confetti stamp punches on it, I'm keeping it. But even then, when I hardly had anything, I shouldn't have kept things this small. So I separated them into vintage, shabby chic, the kind of in, in between vintage, and like regular bright colored stuff. <clears throat> I did keep a lot. Like some of these I kept, I thought that would be a cute little tab. Um, there's just some stuff. <clears throat> and I pulled that out to start crafting with. So... I also went through and pulled out some tags. I used to have some tiny little tags and I found all of the tags that I had coffee and tea dyed before. They're these, but I can't find the white ones. And I also had some regular ones just like this. Those two I can't find. They weren't in my tag thing. And I wanted to use them. But anyway, I pulled, I found these little tags. And I had hand cut these, traced, traced some of them, like I, I had gotten a couple from a friend and then traced some to make more. This was from the swap. And then when I had printed on that fabric, <clears throat> or I, yeah, anyway, these are what I had printed on fabric before. These are little words. These I just made in a Microsoft Word document and these were like little collage uh, types of words that someone else had made and I had just printed them on the fabric. So, is that all I wanted to show you? <clears throat> Been working on my inky stuff, watercolor, na na da da da. Yes. I, this was like one of the first things that I inked. It's not good, it's not bad. I was never a huge inker before, so because I was in, by the time I really got product and was really into scrapbooking, I started, I followed, <laughs> followed everyone else. I went with the grain and um, started, stopped really doing vintagey stuff. So I don't have a lot of practice at it. And anyway, I had filmed a craft with me. And I made this. I don't know if I even like it. This is one of those little, uh, just little sheets from Dollar Tree. They come in a little paper pad. The green ones, a lot of people have <clears throat> like these. And then they came out with cream now and purple. So I got a pack of each of those. And yes, I inked the edge of that up. I inked up this little picture that I found online. <clears throat> uh, this is a piece of book page, some graph paper I inked up, two little scraps, a tag, 
with a little tag hanging off of it and I stamped that in burlap frayed burlap the ranger inks distress inks this is one of the words I printed out and this fabric I have a nice cream colored sheet set but the fitted sheet it just got ripped in a place and I think probably like my cat had scratched it or something and then my fiance just I don't know it got ripped so I also have two dogs and I have these they're basically like half size pillows and I got them at the Dollar Tree they're just simple plain pillows but I was like I have to make some pillowcases for these because otherwise they're gonna get gross and I want to be able to change the pillowcases so on the fitted sheet I cut all of the elastic off and I was like oh, I might need to use that and then each corner where it is like where there's darts on each corner of the sheet I made little pillowcases and I kept some of the fabric it's a pretty nice cream color this is just how it looks I didn't ink it I didn't do anything to it that's just how it looks <clears throat> and that is what this is I just snipped a little bit and then ripped so it was a little more frayed this was a little label that I printed out a long time ago I inked on it and that's all this is and why I made this and the reason it's in this place is because I want it to go in here this is the picture I want for inside of this little envelope and obviously I'm going to collage the envelope as well <clears throat> and the little girls you can see them perfectly <clears throat> I just thought that was cute so <clears throat> I'm going to collage over this envelope and I want to put a tab here like a pull tab and first I I liked this on it it's like that would be cool <clears throat> but I don't know and then obviously it's lined on the other side so this is a journaling spot and yeah so I want to figure out what I want to put there I don't know that I want this right there this is just the sticky back so that would come off it will be matted matte but I still think it's too dark what do you guys think I haven't been it's been a long time obviously because this ain't that good but what do you well, let me know what you think is it missing something yes I feel like it's missing something I know it's really blank over here yeah I guess I could have but I I had to have the photo to this side so it would fit in the window so yeah I also <clears throat> have another photo that I had inked up that I want to do something with and I have had these tags forever in a day and I have a whole lot of them my dad got them from some like office something like where he uses to get stuff for his business <clears throat> and I was going to take bundles of them small bundles and put them in my Etsy shop or sell them like really cheap just because sometimes people don't want to buy a whole like hundred pack or whatever but also sometimes I feel like they in smaller batches they can be a little overpriced so I was like, oh, maybe I could sell, you know, 10 or 20 for just a few dollars or, you know, 20 for four dollars. I don't know. Just something cheap so that people <clears throat> could have access to them and not have to spend a ton of money or, you know, buy a whole bunch to get a good deal. I also, where is that? I just had this. I was going to do that with sections of crepe paper because it makes such a cool layering piece it's just like a great texture and I have a box with rolls and rolls of crepe paper and I was gonna do sections of that you know when I started I think it was before the swap I did a swap with Cindy for kiddos and um, we did flip books and on each page of her flip book which I did in like a Midori traveler's notebook style there was a, 
uh, like a little little bags with gifts and things on it and I had sent her a whole section of this and she was like oh I never thought of that she's like I've never uh, said something like I've never seen anyone do that and I was like oh that's so sweet but anyway she's a really nice lady you should follow Cindy for kiddos like the number four she has an Instagram she's so pretty and she's very talented has a lot of great ideas yeah this was junk mail it was for um, satellite TV and it was like to-do list cancel cable and I painted over it and then I took some scrap paper and I may ink this up or coffee dye it but I also wanted to do something with <clears throat> these tags or one of the tags or something even if I used like just the top of this tag maybe in a larger layering piece and then I could use this for something who knows? What is this? Article or kind of material, amount, size counted, inventory. Ooh, that looks cool too. So these are just standard tags. And I also have some mulberry paper. I think that's what this is called. Or handmade paper. This I think is a little bit different. I think this is mulberry paper and this is handmade paper. And I got it, I don't know, I have it organized by color, but I remember it in a pack like all mishmash mixed together. I also pulled out cupcake liners or a cupcake liner to do something with. I need a good base, I wonder if I should try and <clears throat> do something with this. <clears throat> if I should keep it like all contained within this or if it should be its own thing. Like I can't decide what I would do. This is why I <laughs> I deleted the craft with me because I'm so wishy-washy. I could... do something with these, which are smaller. And it wouldn't be so daunting. I could do just some little layering. No picture and a little word. One man's art. this. <clears throat> I'm going to cut it so that I can save that Night of the Hunter. Oh, I don't think I showed you these. These were purchased single as they are um, Fisker's Paper Edgers. <clears throat> But I also have a set that is from Hobby Lobby. I got it as a Christmas gift, but I know it's from Hobby Lobby. And it came with a dozen, I think, a dozen paper cutting scissors. And the whole set is $15 there. And if you use your 40% off one item coupon, dirt cheap for these scissors. And also they have um, sales, you know, like certain scrapbooking tools, yada yada, will be half off, all that. <clears throat> this one is called Torn Paper, but it's a little bit different. I actually gave an example. All right, this is what the blue pair looks like, this pair. And then this one is the other one. See how it's a little more, this one looks a little more realistic to me, to me. <clears throat> it's all opinion and then I'm going to do I want the edge let's see 
I will cut it here and then I can decide later. What if I actually use this on it? Could do some layering around that. Ink this. Tissue paper is also really cool to use. Do I have some? I had some tissue paper pulled out. This one's like gold though. And I could hang one of these little gold rimmed tags off of it. That could be cute. Let's try and ink this up a little bit. <clears throat> Frayed burlap. That's why. That's what I did. Let's see if I can do this without getting too too crazy. What do we think? I think since this is a frayed edge, this is a straight edge, and that's a straight edge, we need more of a frayed edge in between. What if I used another piece of this? And let's use the other kind of torn paper scissors. Looks a little bit different than the book page. I'll just cut that off. <clears throat> it's too perfect. <laughs> Let me trim this excess off and maybe it'll look a little bit better. If you wanted to make some basic tags, honestly, you could do this, make a little staple or sew on it, and that would be good. By the way, my idea was to sew through here, and I kind of wanted to do it before I put the word on and I forgot, but I'm still going to do some sewing on here, maybe just over the letter, I don't know, and I was thinking maybe down the side to give that bit some interest, but yeah. That's always an idea. I have this fabric that's black. That might actually look okay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> looks different, but it's the same piece of paper. Some mulberry paper. Is that too light? No. And also a good idea is to not like adhere everything down all the way to the edge because leaving, you know, some texture on the edge also looks good. I need some color. I don't want to keep using a bunch of green, but... these tags out to fiddle fart with. What you think? What you think? <clears throat> I 
I could do this as a little basic tag. Not much. <clears throat> and that way we'll feel accomplished. Got something done today. I actually had a bunch of stuff to do before I sat down to do this. And I got it done. Let's look at this just horrifically, horrifically dyed <laughs> paper. Looks like doo-doo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I cut a strip of it out, you never know. I like that purple D, which is supposed to be brown. It was the mermaid markers color brown, but it just turned purple D. Oh, you know what? I bet that was a scrap from one of my things, maybe. You never know. Maybe we'll do that. <clears throat> we can have something tuck into there. I kind of like that. <clears throat> what do you think? Tag and a tag and a tag and a tag. That's too light. But we're going somewhere. Sticking to that. I'm gluing it down. Okay. I'm going to cut this off. This extra bit. But I will leave a flap to it here down. This one will obviously have to, this side will be directly adhered down, but that's all right. I was using my Eileen's tacky glue with a tiny um, applicator, but it was, I'm not very good at <laughs> gluing now, right now either, so. I was getting glue. As the name suggests, it remains tacky. Oh, guess what I didn't do? Glue the bottom. But I think this is going to be cool to sew across the bottom. I could sew along all of this along the edge. I've got my sewing machine behind me. Look, I even have these old little printables here. I like it. Okay. This is getting too long. <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to show you what I was working on, what I've been doing, and etc. So, yes, I hope you liked the video. Did I show you the little books? I didn't. Hold on. Okay, these really are, the really, really are the last junk journals that I ever made. And they're not really junk journals, but I thought they were a good idea for someone starting out. <clears throat> you could use Project Life cards or index cards. There's a 4x6 and a 3x4. And all I did was put some of that patterned paper on the back, those little notepads that I debound. Actually, this was the book and I just took the entire paper pad out and used the cover for my little tag thing and then I used little papers I really that's my favorite one I really like that one use the little papers to back my journal cards and all of these I believe were the ones 
that were like first page, you know, that isn't that are not double sided. <clears throat> and these are interactive. This is a supposed to open. There we go. Oops. And these are all backed with the same paper. So thought that was a cool idea. I did those, of course, forever and a day ago, but they could be upgraded, put your own spin on it, do with it what you will. And I hope you like these. Um, let me know if anyone would be interested if I, you know, got really prepared, got my stuff out, and we could do a live kind of craft with me and everyone could, you know, get involved and chat and give ideas. And yeah, let me know if that's, if there's even enough people watching to do something like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for <clears throat> putting up with my rambling and sticking around. <laughs> I will talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.